What's up guys, Andrew Pozel here from FighterAbs.com. This video goes to Todd and his readers at A Shot of Adrenaline. Today I'm going to show you guys a body weight circuit that fighters use for their core training. You can do this little circuit anywhere, you can place it after a workout, or you can even do it on an off day. So I'm going to get right into it. Our first exercise that we're going to do is called a long plank with armpit touches. So you're going to start in a, the top of a push-up position, which is also known as a plank position. And then from here, we're going to get a, what, into what I call a long plank position. So you're going to walk your hands above your head. And now you're going to brace your abs really tight, squeeze your glutes, and you're going to minimize any shifting of your hips. And you're going to touch the opposite armpit. Each touch is one rep. So with that one, you can uh, make it more challenging by walking your hands further out above your head, or you can get it closer to that normal plank position. Right after that exercise, you're going to get into what I like to call a box plank. So you're going to get your hands underneath your shoulders, knees underneath your hips, and you're going to get your knees slightly off the ground, brace your abs tight, and again, minimize any shifting of your hips, squeezing your abs, taking one hand off the ground. So again, you're going to do 10 reps each side, then right after that exercise, you're going to get into a hard style plank. So you're getting a plank onto your forearms, and essentially with this, you're, it's not your typical plank. You're creating as much tension as possible with as many muscle groups as you can. So if you're in that plank position, you're bracing your abs really tight, you're squeezing your glutes as hard as you can, and squeeze your quads while you're going to engage your lats. You're going to do that by driving your elbows towards your toes. Then you're going to hold this for 10 seconds. And then you're going to relax for about five seconds and then repeat it two more times. So with that one, make sure you're creating as much tension as you can. And then you should be to a point where you become fatigued and you're not able to do that. So by making that one harder, just create more tension, squeeze everything harder. So after that circuit, rest for about 60 seconds and then repeat it for about three rounds. Once you start to progress, you can do it for about five rounds. So again, you can place it after a workout, during your little core routine, or you can do it on an off day. So, that's a, a fighter's core circuit. I hope you guys enjoy that, and I'll see you guys later.